performance is what people see, but the preparation for the performance happens behind the scene, which is the spiritual. So people who spend time behind the scene preparing mm -hmm. for the physical comes out in the physical, in the open, and they perform better. Mm -hmm. That is why it is important. Even though we lead as, I will use an example, as basketball players, mm -hmm. even though we want to look good to the, to the viewers, we put more work behind the scene so we can look better in the physical realm, which that is what people see. Mm -hmm. So behind the scene is more important, which is the spiritual blessing, which that is what we seek after so we can look good in the physical realm. Mm -hmm. But now, Abraham was called the prophet of God. As the prophet of God that he was, how come that we then see all of this scripture about the, the blessing that he was given to us? Because the Bible says that the Abraham gave everything to Isaac only, and any other child is give them money to their mothers and kick them out. But as a prophet, as a man of God he was, why did they see that there, there would be, the, 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 the promise of the son that was promised to him would be in spirit, is, is a spiritual promise. Why did they do a good uh, I, I can, this is well. I can answer this question uh, from, the, from the New Testament. First of all, let's take a look at who Abraham is. In the New Testament, the Bible says in Corinthians, when you have the Spirit of God, you will know what the thought and intention of God is. Mm -hmm. In the time of Abraham, there was no Holy Spirit. He didn't have the Spirit of but God. But he was called a man of he God. Was, he was called a man of God based on the fact that God communicates with him in the physical realm. He could hear God verbally. He could hear God audibly in the physical realm. Because the Old Testament was a God calls out from the heaven. Mm -hmm. He could hear God. But there was no Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit has not been promised on mankind at that point. So he could not interpret he could not interpret the future. Spirit, he could not interpret the future because he didn't have the Spirit of God in him. Uh, I've said so. Is that a uh, pastor? Have you heard before people uh, trying to share the opinion that uh, maybe Abraham will not make heaven? Have you heard that before? Uh, actually, I haven't, but I never really thought about it. Uh, you know, he, he, uh, from the time that he was promised, as far as I'm concerned, he was, it, it was a done deal. He, he, he was going, regardless. Um, uh, uh, you've got to remember that they weren't under grace then. So whatever God said, that's the way it was. And God doesn't back up on what he said. He okay. says something and he okay. sticks okay. to it. So that means by grace of by the grace of God, Abraham will see heaven. Yes. Yes. That, 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 at that time there were no judgment. Well and no law. Yeah, well actually it's written later on in the Bible about uh, you remember the story of, uh, of the poor man, right? Mm -hmm. And he went down into Abraham's bosom and that's what paradise was called. And, uh, and he was in the arms of Abraham, and, and as he was looking across the abyss. So, you know. regardless of all this saga that uh, Sarah, Abraham, Ada did cause, they all will make heaven. Because even Ada was uh, a woman of God, too. The Bible said that they, she was meeting with angels of God. That means if Abraham, with all this misconduct that he had, but uh, in the Lazarus story that we say, they are talking about the Abraham in heaven. That means Sarah will make also heaven. I'm happy to, to right. say that because um, I can't even I can I can't even guarantee yeah. who in the Old Testament went to heaven. <laughs>
Yeah? Yes. Can you tell me something that you know about uh, Islam? Why don't you ask Muslim in Mecca? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, no problem. Any idea now about the Judaism? Why don't you ask the Jews in Jerusalem or Israel? Hmm. Well, my sister, I'm just trying to get some feedback from you because I know that you did watch our video concerning nations of the world. So now I see you reading the Bible, so I believe you're a Christian, yes? Yes. So can you tell us about uh, something about uh, Christianity? Why don't you ask the Pope in the Vatican, Italy? Oof. <laughs> in the Bible. The book of the Jews, yeah? Or the Hebrew. So, now, maybe you may have some good feedback now about the Hebrews. Can you tell us about the Hebrews? What do you know about Hebrews? The word of Hebrews came from Hebron and Abraham. So, when Abraham was buried with Jacob and Isaac, all of them, they were buried over there. So, all the nation came from Abram. So, Abram is for every, all the nation. It's not only for Israel or Abram. So, it's for all the nation. So, are you saying that the Hebrew, ever is a Hebrew coming out of uh, Abraham? Yes. So, that's your definition about the Hebrews? Yes. Because they all came from uh, Abraham. Because the Abraham was the father of nation. So. So not only the Israelites are Hebrews, no. but to you, everybody is a Hebrew. Everybody, including all these Ishmaelites. Yes. Everybody. Because of their father Abraham. Mm -hmm. Are you sure about that? Yes. Hmm. Any final question? Ha! <laughs> okay. Looks like you don't want me talk about that subject. Let us move to another one. Now. Any idea about uh, the way the religious or religion understand the word Trinity? So, three. Like uh, three main religions in the world, such as uh, Islam? Three. Yeah, no, Trinity means three. But now the first one, if I say like uh, Islam, so the second one should be like uh, Judaism? Three. My sister, I'm trying to talk about the Trinity. So we talk about the, if Judaism is the first one and uh, Islam the second one. So the third one should be like a Christian so that they can make Trinity Christian? Three. So Trinity for you just means three? Yes, three. Okay, now since you are reading the Bible, so let me understand now the word Trinity because I really have to use uh, all the power that I have as, as such as, you know, in the Bible, you are reading the Bible. Men have power to veto. And uh, men have received the power from God, so now I have to use the power. And uh, what you know from the Bible, it says that the woman should be respecting men. So can I use my video now to get more feedback from you about uh, Trinity? Three. Like God the Father? Three. Hmm. God the Son? Three. How about God the Holy Ghost? See, my sister, all of this means three, 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 the trinity, I know, but uh, what means trinity really for you, my final word? Is it three. Huh. So for you, trinity just means three? Three. Okay, God bless you. Looks like you are not ready. Amen. Hallelujah. Scripture, my brother said about Abraham Moses. Now, 
we can say Abraham has a bone up. But we never heard anything in the New Testament saying anything about Hannah. So we can't really tell. So also, um, we didn't hear anything about, about uh, Ishmael. Ishmael. So we can't really tell. But I can tell about Abraham. Huh? How about us, Jenny? What was it in the New Testament? Was it a reference in it? If it wasn't a reference in the New Testament, I can tell. But you said we have the uh, Holy Ghost now. That's that, what I'm that, saying. that can help us to analyze spiritual matter. Can, so, you, can, so, you, can you use the Holy Ghost that God has placed in you as a pastor? To, to tell who's in who's going? Yes. No, no, yeah. I can't. That that is that is not that is not the assignment of the Holy Spirit to me. It does by the way, those are not spiritual things. Okay, okay. By the way, those are not spirits.